Now that we've got Expo set up on our machine, let's talk a little bit about the first project that we're going to be working on. So the first project I'm really excited about because there's not a lot of material out there online about it. We're gonna be talking about animations. So animations with React Native, how to get stuff to move around on the screen as the user interacts with our application. For our first application that we're going to make here, we're gonna focus only on some single component that's gonna use animations in a very big way. So we're not gonna make a full featured application, we're gonna make just a component that's gonna demo how animations work with React Native. And if it sounds like that's kind of small in scope, trust me, this is gonna be a pretty good amount of work that we're biting off here. So let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna build. You might kind of recognize the component right here. So we're talking about basically this item on the screen. We're gonna make a Tinder card, essentially. A Tinder card, and when I say Tinder, I'm referring to the Tinder dating application, is intended to have an image at the top, some text, maybe a button on it, I don't know, you know, some other children inside of here. But what's really interesting about this card is the animations that are tied to it. So the intent is that a user should be able to use their finger or their thumb or whatever finger they want to use to swipe, to swipe this card to the right or to the left. And I can't quite show it with this diagramming tool that I use, but one of the other key things about this animation is that as a user starts to swipe this card over to the right or to the left, we also want to rotate the card at the same time as well. So that's what we're aiming for. We want to build a card that a user can swipe to the right or swipe to the left. As they start to swipe it, the card should appear, appear to move and rotate at the same time. So this is gonna be a very classic use case of animations in mobile applications. As we start to dive into uh, this component a little bit more, we'll talk a lot more about the API that I expect to have around this component itself. But for right now, I wanna do a little bit of an overview on animations and how they work with React Native. Okay, so for right now, we're gonna kinda of bench this component right here. I just wanna give you an idea of where we're headed towards, but we're gonna do a little bit of a diversion first and talk about animations in general, and then we'll start working on this guy right here in particular. So let's talk about animations with React Native. So we're gonna talk about two different systems of animations with React Native that we have available to us. The two most important systems, there are several others, but they are mostly deprecated, so these are the two that you really want to know about, is the layout animation system and the animated system. So these are the names of two different methods of setting up animations inside of React Native. If you took my previous course on React Native, you'll know a little bit about layout animation. We touched it very briefly inside that course. Layout animation is fantastic for setting up very simple animations. So if we want to say, change the size of a box or change the size of a circle or just slightly move an element around the screen, layout animation is a fantastic solution for that. And it's very easy to set up, almost surprisingly easy, I might say, to be honest. However, it absolutely lacks any amount of fine-grained control. So if we want to give the user the ability to say, uh, you know, really looking at the component that we want to build right here, this is not a good use case for the layout animated module. It doesn't have quite the same level of fine-grained control as we would expect to be able to get that card to work the way we, that we want. In general, if you ever want to make an item just move in one direction, and that's what I'm intending by this diagram right here. So maybe we've got a ball at the top and we want it to move directly in a straight line down to the bottom in a uh, very sequential manner, a very sequential fashion. That's the point in time at which we, want might, we might want to start thinking about the layout animation module. Now what we're gonna be working with is a much more powerful, however, far more complicated, method of animating components, and that is the animated module on the right-hand side over here. Whenever you are starting to think about a complicated animation, so something where an element needs to move around in several different directions, or maybe you want to uh, respond to user input in some very precise fashion, that's when we want to start thinking about the animated module. So this module, again, it's much more complicated to get started with, but you have far more power, far more control over the type of animation that is shown to the user on the screen. 
And so a better use case, or can, to kind of give you a case to think of in your head, if we think back to the layout animation module, I had said that if we're just gonna take a ball and move it from the top to the bottom, if that's a good use case for the layout animation, then the animated module might be better for saying, okay, I wanna take a ball and move it over to the right, and then move it down here, and then down here, all with a single, single user press. That is something much more appropriate for the animated module. Basically, if you're doing any type of animation that you think is gonna be even remotely complicated, reach for animated. Now, all this guidance I'm giving you right now is probably, might be just bouncing off of you because you're probably saying, well, Steven, I still don't really understand what the difference between the two of these is. And hey, that's totally fine. That's, that's why we're here. We're gonna be talking about uh, the animated module in great depth in the coming sections. And once we go through it in depth, you'll have a much better understanding of how these two systems compare with each other. So we're gonna be using the animated module for our Tinder swipe deck or for our swipe card thing that we're putting together. Let's continue in the next section and start talking a lot more about some of the theory behind animations and how it applies to the animated module. So we'll take a quick break, come back and talk more about animations in just a second.